Thank you. As you can see, my final guests this evening are Ob J. Dar, and they are Tarn Ockenden, Hello. Tim Howe, and Dave Swan. Hello. Ob J. Dar will be appearing at the Arnhem Gallery at the Fairfield Halls as part of the Gigs in the Gallery series that they're running over there on March the 17th. And we'll be running a competition later on for you to win two tickets to go to that gig, and also we'll be giving away two albums and three singles. So listen to the interview. Well, welcome to the show, and Hello, thanks for that. I will just say at this, at this point that, Dave, you are in fact a drummer and not, yes, and not a tambourine player. I am honestly player. a musician and <laughs> not a tambourine player. I know you're worried about that and you want to stress oh, well, that. Yes, couldn't really be in the drum kit in here tonight. Is this a typical type of song that you do on, on a live gig, or is, is this an acoustic song for our benefit? Well, the song's the same, but I mean, the arrangement around it's totally different in a live situation with electric guitars and, uh, and obviously uh, drum kits and stuff. So. Uh, there's a lot more power there. Really. Yeah, you've got a heavy, is, heavier feel to this it. This is oh, yeah. for the studio benefit. Mm. And how would you describe your music? What, what, what would you put a tag on it as? Uh, melodic rock, really. I mean, that's um, psychedelic rock. It's basically just rock, you know, very often different tangents, but uh, sort of psychedelic and melodic rock. Right. Tarn, how long have you been together as a band? Eight years. Which is quite a while. Has your it style is. changed at all during that time? Uh, constantly. Uh, yeah, constantly. Is there a sort of theme that runs through it all, or does it? You just there, get an there, idea there and you go a, with there's it. There's a main underlying thing that uh, a lot of the music we write is psychedelic rock, and we've stuck to our guns and not fallen for the to fall into the chart. To go into the very commercial stuff. side. We just stuck with what we do, and we just do what we do as well as we can. <laughs> and it is very well, thank you, <laughs> Tim. Uh, uh, you're playing what 200. 200 gigs, live gigs a year? We do about 200. We're very much a working band, yes. But you've also recorded, what, three albums, the latest, which is Circus Time, Circus Time for, for Hearts. Hearts. That's right. um, but your first album is of interest to us because you recorded it locally, didn't you? That's right, just, just around the corner from the studios here. Um, the old wash, wash houses, I think Public they were. Public baths. There was <laughs> the a recording baths. studio there called Wickham Studio. I don't think the studio's there now, but, but it was about um, 1985 when we recorded the first album there. And where else do you play locally? As I say, you're doing the gig at uh, the Fairfield Halls and the Arnhem Gallery. That's right. Um, you've also played, I think, at Alders? In the past, we've done the, the Alders Staff Social Club. If anybody watching <laughs> <laughs> there remembers us. Hello, <laughs> Terry. <laughs> and what sort of gigs do you like doing best? What's your favourite venue? Um, I think, obviously, the ones where we can play our own music. They're, they're obviously our favourite gigs, but, I mean, we, we do we do enjoy doing, you know, when we do a few covers and things like that. The big ones are the best mm. ones, basically. The, the bigger yeah. the better. Yeah. And right. where do you hope to go? You do a lot of live gigs. Do you, do you hope to have a successful re recording career in the next eight years? Uh, well, we've just got to take it as it comes. Mm. Um, just enjoy it. Just do it and enjoy it. I, I mean, you, you are fully professional, aren't you? Oh, you yes. earn your we're set, we're set, we're we are selling sure. quite, a few, quite a few records. I mean, we haven't made we're chart sort of stardom yet, but we are surviving. selling records. A couple of thousand odd records. And have you had any near misses, you know, record company interest? Almost um, there, but not quite. Well, it seems what you class as near miss. I mean, we've, we've ha had stuff on Radio On with our first album and that, and we, we ran into problems with record companies and things like that, so that's quite often a, a common reason that things fall down. And yeah. now we're on telly. <laughs> well, that's it. Ever, oh, ever onward and upward. Things can only look up. <laughs> exactly. Well, coming on to the competition, Tim, you're going to pose the question for that's us right, to right. win this, this fabulous prize. Yeah, Let me tell the, the viewers first. It is two tickets to go and see Ob J. Dar at the Arnhem Gallery on March the 17th. And also two albums, including the latest one. <laughs> and um, three singles. And you can call us on our hotline, which of course is 666-0432. The calls, as usual, are selected at random, so don't worry if the line's engaged, you can call back any time, and you could still be a winner. Don't forget the hotline is 666-0432. And the question is... Right, what we want to know is, 
Uh, and we have mentioned this. What is the name of our latest album? The name we've, of we've Obdidar's. already mentioned it tonight. We have indeed. Obdidar's latest album. So get dialing 666-0432. <laughs> well, thanks very much for coming in. Nice to have a chat with you. Hope that it goes very well at the Island Gallery. And uh, I think you're going to play us out with a, another we are little indeed. We are. Yeah, we But for me, that's all for now. Right. This Take is a song. Away, this is called Lab Affair. All join in now. Here we go. <laughs> Take me for a ride in a love affair This is more than a dream In a love affair Cable Today is back tomorrow at 6, 7, 10.30 and 11.30.